this video we're going to show you how to render just part of your scene. Now this is going to be great for those with slower machines at this, uh, or even on this basic step, and it's going to be great later on for complex scenes on any computer, because you'll often find that you don't need to render the entire thing, you just need to see how that object looks within the entire scene. Okay, so we left it like this before with it rendering our scene. And I can see that this particular scene here, up in the top left, took seven seconds or seven and a half seconds ish to render. And depending on what it has to do, it will take a certain amount of time to do. Now, as we can see, it's still taking several seconds, even with this low quality render, uh, for to doing 10 samples. And this time it took eight seconds. So it will vary depending on what it's got to do. Now, one of the things that you can do is basically draw a box around the area you wish to be rendered. Now it's from the view port itself. You're not actually drawing a box around anything else. Um, so the two keys are Control and B and Control Alt and B. So Control and B will give you a border that you can draw around your object and you can see straight away it's rendering just that small area. And if I wanted to redraw that, I'm just going to do Control B again and draw a new area. And as we can see, just the cone itself now is taking around, well, less than a second to render. Now, if we move the viewport, it's absolutely fine at the moment. The cone will pretty much stay in there when you're orbiting around it. However, if you were to move away, you can see that it's actually what you're doing is you're drawing a border as to what you want in the viewport to render. Now, if I just wanted to clear that down straight away, Control, Alt and B will clear that selection. So it's Control and B, and you can draw a box around the area you wish to be rendered, and Control, Alt and B will cancel that selection. Of course, if you need another area really quickly, you can go Control and B and render over there, Control and B, render over here, and Control and B and render your cone again. So there we go, really useful when working with larger projects or if you've got a slightly slower machine. You may not have a powerful computer and this is a great way of rendering a small bit of the scene really quickly. And later on this will become invaluable even with those with really powerful computers because it means you're going to be able to see high quality renders without doing the whole scene. Hope you guys find that useful. I'd like you to go away and try that now. I think that would really benefit uh, people, especially with your, those with slower machines. I'm willing for it to pop up. Um, you'll probably not see me use it at this stage, but perhaps later on. I'm quite happy with it on this machine as I get a good preview quite quickly by just looking and that means I can skip around quite quickly as well um, but for those with slower machines as I said this is going to prove quite invaluable and again it means that you're only rendering a small part of the scene and can see the rest in normal solid mode here okay hope you found that useful I will see you in the next lecture